McNeil Sean brutally hit out at Meghan's rebranding conspiracy amid criticism over expensive jewellery. Meghan Markle's advisers are reportedly pushing for an overhaul of her public image after she received criticism for wearing expensive jewellery during a reading of her children's book The Bench. According to a royal commentator, the Duchess of Sussex could be set for a rebranding, in an attempt to boost sales of her books. Meghan Markle recently made a YouTube appearance where she gave a reading of her book The Bench, which was inspired by Prince Harry's relationship with their son Archie Harrison, but received criticism for her expensive accessories. Royal commentator Neil Sean said, The biggest problem for Meghan and her advisers is how do they make her relatable to the people that they want to buy the book, that is the tricky bit. Now this particular interview on YouTube saw Meghan looking wonderful, basking in wonderful sunlight, but of course it was drawn to the fact that she was wearing a lot of expensive jewelry and an expensive watch. If you're trying to sell a book to children, that's not really relatable. Now what we can tell you, is that they're going to be rebranding Meghan as something of a more warm and comfy, open, relatable author. We're not quite sure exactly what their plans are, but the bench isn't the only children's book that she has up her sleeve, apparently there are more. It has been reported that Prince Harry and Meghan have signed a four-book deal with Penguin Random House, although this has not been confirmed by the Sussexes. The Duchess appeared last week on the Briley Storytime YouTube channel, which is run by the publishers, and gave a reading of her poem. The book, which was originally written for Prince Harry for Father's Day and is inspired by a father's relationship with his son, has been illustrated with watercolor paintings by artist Christian Robinson. Following its publication, it reached number one of the New York Times bestseller list for children's picture books. Before reading, the 40-year-old Duchess said, I wrote this as a poem for my husband and our son Archie, and then turned it into a book so you could enjoy it too. For the video appearance, she wore her hair in a loose bun and donned a simple blue blouse, accessorized with gold jewelry. On her left wrist, the former actress wore the gold Cartier Tank Frances watch that has previously belonged to her late mother-in-law, Princess Diana. Its estimated value at the time of purchase was $23,000 but is now believed to be much more. She also wore a $6,900 Cartier Love Bracelet and a $3,000 Mini Gold Tennis Bracelet designed by Jennifer Meyer. At the end of her reading, she told listeners, I hope you enjoyed the bench, I loved being able to share it with you. And now I hope you're able to go and find your own special bench, or chair, or little quiet nook. Just a place that means something to you that you can share with someone you love. Meghan Markle has skeletons in the closet which could be released in the future, a royal biographer believes. Journalist Tom Bauer, who is writing a biography on the Duchess of Sussex, said Meghan's estranged father has held back embarrassing details about her. The author called on the royal to speak to the men from her past to stop them sharing damaging information about her life. In a damning interview, Mr. Bauer also slammed Meghan and Prince Harry's decision to isolate themselves from their loved ones, describing this as a poisonous choice. He told magazine, she was really family orientated when she was younger, but she seems to have completely erased memories of that and disowned him, her father Thomas Markle. Similarly, she cut off her ex-husband when her career started taking off. She seems to me to be a very ambitious, unforgiving person. But I think, much to her dismay, more will come out. I think Thomas is keeping some things back and that he has a lot of embarrassing stuff on her. There are skeletons in the closet and, when provoked, I think the secrets could all come out. Mr. Bauer added that Harry and Meghan have isolated themselves in California, hoping it will make them stronger. However, the author believes the move will simply alienate them from their families.